response to their inquiries, can we calendar this for the next board meeting? Resolution? Uh, yeah, I, I'll give a brief chronology of my understanding. At the end of the meeting, yes, last month you requested that we, uh, that you were going to present us a resolution for consideration. Uh, you were going to be meeting with the group to, to formulate the resolution. I just wanted to let you know that I received a phone call from Susan McDonough the week of uh, leading up to March 1st asking about a deadline for submitting that as being March 1st, and I made it clear that under the policy, it, a resolution can come from a board member and it can be calendared. However, the policy itself says that it needs to be uh, voted on at, well, I'll read, read you the section, determination of the social concerns that should be addressed through exercise of voting rights and subsequent implementation of the balance of the procedures will be made by the board in full consideration of their responsibilities as fiduciaries of the system and only after staff review of investment and social implications. Additional information from external managers or other outside sources will be sought when necessary. So there is an obligation of the policy for staff to review and provide the board with the investment and social implications of what is being requested. The lateness of when we received the resolution is the only reason that it was not counted. I mean, I coordinate the calendar through the chair of the, of the board, and we had a draft of the resolution on March 1st. I got a final version of the resolution on March 6th, a week ago today. And that did not provide us, under the policy, staff enough time to go through and do the research. So, uh, it, at the direction of... And realistically, how many months do you need to do the research? Well, as we indicated with Commissioner <coughs> Meinberger and would be happy to, you know, discuss with other interested commissioners, there is there was an inconsistency in the resolution itself as to what level it needed to be gauged in. So, I mean, this is rather unusual that a board member, obviously something that can be done, that a board member would prepare a resolution and present it to the board. And, and so we need to reconcile any kind of inconsistency, potential inconsistencies with the policy. For example, they're talking about asking the board to go to a shareholder meeting and introduce you know, a resolution or to, to do a letter writing campaign. Under, are they under the board policy, that's level two, which is a level two engagement rather than a level one engagement. So we just need to, and, and I'll admit, I had a discussion with uh, Marguerite uh, before the meeting, and the policy might not be as clear as it needs to be as far as the process is concerned. And are they singly now specific banks? Or obviously there have been hundreds of banks that have been involved in the le lending and loans. So The resolution I saw had J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. Okay. Now, can you legally single out just three banks as opposed to... That would be part of staff's analysis of the resolution as presented and, and that's why I say it. it's the social, the investment as well as the legal ramifications of what the board or the board is being asked to do and frankly whether it's within your authority to do right. some of the things. I mean it could be that some of the things that they're asking might be more appropriately done in a court of law. Yeah. And so we have a policy. It's served us well since 1988. I felt that I was obliged to follow that policy. And so we can get back to the president of the board how long, once we have the resolution finalized, how long we think it would take us to do the legal, the investment, as well as the social uh, risk we do. Yeah. Well. And, and you have to confer with the city attorney office on that and other legal entities? I think from the resolution drafts that we've seen, there could potentially be some issues that the board is being asked to do things that might be outside of the purview or the authority, and or potentially outside the policy for them to do. I'm just asking because I don't want you to think that we're delaying, but there It's obvious that you're delaying. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I don't think that we want to you know, specifically put in one bank or leave one bank out if they're... Well, then meet with us and we'll rewrite it so it covers all the banks if that's what you need. Well, if I could add, I, I think what we're just asking is just be countered for action. We can amend it at that time at the next board meeting should it not meet the criteria or if you want to scale out the level two to a level one type of proposal. 
Yeah, we, we could address that in public session. I think that is the venue to address it in public session. So what I would suggest is to bring the resolution to the board at the next meeting, and then we can, uh, the staff will have a, a chance to look at it, and they can advise us if we need to edit it at that time. Okay, my only direction, the only direction that I would ask from the board is, is the last version of the resolution, which you gave me last Wednesday, is that the version you want staff to work up, or as we indicated, do you want to reconcile the resolution to fit the policy or within the policy? If it doesn't fit within the policy, then it's well, I think what, maybe you and I, we should get together and make sure yeah. it fits the fine. policy. Then. Okay, I, I, I'd like to interject. I just want to um, thank everyone again for your diligence and your commitment um, and your hard work and your advocacy, um, being voices for people that are not um, in a place to ask for help on their behalf. So thank you for taking up the mantra on that. This is a point of, uh, I guess, a clarification point um, to staff. Wanted to know exactly, maybe for our audience purpose, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of the policy when we're talking about a level one or level two, what exactly that is. Maybe you can, could you just read that into the record so we can